It's about to start in five seconds. I'm low-key kind of scared. <laughs> I'm low-key kind of scared. Okay. Uh-oh, we're going right into it. I've had concerns for a long time. Malika's plan needs too much time, and too many things can go wrong. So, uh -oh. specifics aside, the Pyro Archon confirmed the Gnosis can resolve the crisis, but it comes at a huge price. Oh? This is a distress signal for the Masters of the Nightwind, so Auroron was indeed being threatened. Oh? Great going, Malika. Are you sure? We're already off to a rocky start Dude, here. She looks so sick. Wait, this music is dope. Oh! Yo, she's kind of dope, no? She's mothering. Hey, yo? If she's trying to finish that ancient name, there's only one place she could go. Oh! His soul is temporarily restrained by us and the nurse to have become more fragile in the process. Wait, well, that, that was the Gnosis, right? I'm guessing New World Boss, right? In the event that a confrontation becomes inevitable, I'll stall the captain while you advance. I don't know what that is, Once but I want to know what that is. That the Pyro Archon Malwika would never willingly share with you. You may just find it in your heart to consider my proposal. We have to make the decision for her here and now. Tell me more. Land without the Lord of the Night, without the protection of the wolves, is doomed from the start. You presume too much. Humanity's survival is worth any price. Bro, what, what is going on? Not long must pay the price, and only Malika's death can clear the debt. All I wanted was to see her again. My end will not come first, and I'm not giving up. If I could go back, oh, I got chills. I would do whatever it took to ensure their survival. You've experienced something similar, Malika. Oh, wait, she looks so cool. She looks so freaking cool. <laughs> okay. A lot is happening here. A little, a little war with Abyss. Oh, first code, guys. Hey, hold on. I, I need to, like... I need to be able to process what just happened. A lot was going on, and a lot, a lot of words were being said. And a lot of, uh, like, scenes were being shown that I don't really understand right now. You know what I mean? I feel like I need to watch it again and, like, actually process what just happened <laughs> because of what? <sighs> well, we get versus Capitano round two. No, literally what is happening? Because they showed a lot of scenes of, like, you know, that big thing in the sky, like, that looked like abyss-like and then, like, this fight against the abyss, too. Hmm. I need to see more. And I, I also, like, I need to go through it with a uh, closed captions as well because there's a lot of stuff being said with a lot of like sound going on at once. I, I need I need captions. <laughs> hey, really welcome in. That was pretty sick though. That was pretty sick. Hello, travelers. Welcome to the Genshin Impact version 5.1 special program. My hey. name is Gabe. And I'm from the Genshin Impact. It was really vague, team. but a lot and going on. I'm, Kai. True. I'm also from the Lope team, and will be your host for today's program. We're usually translating Genshin Impact behind the scenes, so it's an honor to talk about the latest update. Oh. I'm pretty stoked about what's coming in version 5.1. Totally. I'm sure that everyone else is just as excited to find out about the new update. Then let's I'm give assuming them what this is because of the, the strike, up, maybe? Shilonen will be our new playable character in version 5.1. Mm-hmm. Whoa, Dude, she looks really has cool. a lot going on. Where should we start? Yeah, we should probably start with her profession. Of course. Shilonen is a famous smith from the Children of Echoes, one of Natland's six tribes. She forges all kinds of goods, like <laughs> yeah, they're jewelry, get, they're, vehicles, they're getting right into weapons. it, guys. This is about to be a quick you one, I'm convinced. It, she'll make it. Cool. We've already seen some of her creations, actually. Oh, really? She created the Pyro Archon sunglasses and Kachina's drill, Turbo Twirly. You'll be able to see even she is more mothering. of her handiwork, including the weapons of some of our new upcoming Natland characters. Wow, she's forged so many creations. Yeah, and they're all really varied. She commands so much respect in Natland, but her job is really challenging. Yeah. What's her secret? 
Shilonen is a really skilled smith, but her work mindset is the true key to her success. And they're uh, the people that translate say, the game, I'm pretty sure. If you overwork yourself, then your mind and body will settle the score. Yep. You can't accomplish much while you're burned yeah, out. Yeah, I just realized That's the why braid she in her hair right here. That's why she important to take breaks. The, like, blue so and pink what does braid? she do during her time off? Well, for one, she likes to sunbathe in the tree branches. She's that's so valid right. for that. We saw her doing that before. Yeah, in the ignition teaser. Yes. But that's not her only hobby. She also likes to listen to music. Oh yeah, that's a popular. No, the NPCs do look kind of cute. Right? Absolutely. See those oh God, ear rings in her sick. ears? Mm -hmm. They actually connect to a record player. Cool. She made them mm. so that she could listen to music during her work breaks. And oh my the God, her and I them could be friends. Steady forging rhythm. They're pretty handy. Wow, it seems like her skill set is really convenient. Mm -hmm. That's how Alvin. And as a smith, her skill set also comes in handy for exploration. Shilonen actually forged some special equipment that make it easier to get around. Let's take a look. Great. Like the rollerblades? She's actually mothering, it's crazy. Ooh, she's seen her night soul's blessing Bro! Cool. Yeah. Wow, she makes climbing look so Dude, easy. Dude, that's kind of yeah. sick. She can even stop in the middle of her climb and take in the surrounding view. Nice. I bet she finds a lot she of inspiration that way. She can just sit on the wall. For sure. She can just sit on the wall. When she finds <laughs> something <laughs> interesting, she immediately springs Dude, Her eyes action. are really cool. Wait, did she? Oh, she changes into the. Wait, is it a jaguar oh, or something oh, else? She's Some intense. kind of wild cat. Speaking of intense, which is super let's sick. Let's discuss her battle mechanics. Shilonen uses special equipment in combat too. The kick. See those three objects next to her? They look like gems, right? Well, those are. There are no VAs because of the herself. the strike. Oh, there's those a strike are going super on right shiny. now. They really suit Shilonen's design. Yeah, and their color can change. The samplers are aligned with Geo by default but their element will change when you add Hydro, Pyro, Cryo, or Electro characters to your party. For example, if Muolani is in your party, then one of Shilonen's samplers will become aligned with Hydro. And when Shilonen activates that sampler, she can reduce nearby enemies' resistance to Hydro damage. Ooh. Oh, okay. Well, how do you activate the samplers? It's simple. When Shilonen has at least two samplers of an element other than Geo, then hitting enemies with her normal attacks will build up Night Soul points. Wait. When Night Soul points are at their maximum level, this is level, gonna be so nice. All no? samplers will be activated. This reduces the corresponding elemental resistances of nearby enemies. Okay, I think I understand her kit now. Nice. She learned this ability. You see the samplers on the bar on the at side. Least two different hydro, pyro, cryo, or electro characters in your party. Once you have an optimal team, you just need to activate the Night Soul's Blessing state and max out her Night Soul points. Exactly. These Damn, skills bro. allow her to She's reduce strong, multiple types lie. of elemental resistance. Of course, Shilonen also works in teams with multiple Geo characters. If Shilonen's samplers are aligned with Geo, then her normal attacks and plunging attacks deal greater damage instead of rapidly accumulating Night Soul points. Oh, really? Oh, really? Shilonen also has a talent that should be helpful for exploring that land. Wait, so when does Shilonen that When like, is in your party, triggering a Night Soul Ooh, transmission with in? one of your party members will allow them to regain a set amount of phlogiston. Cool. Ooh. Shilonen's elemental Wait, burst the animation deals was really AOE nice. Geo damage. And if she has at least two samplers of an element other than Geo, then her burst will restore HP to active characters at set intervals. She heals? All right, that's all we have for Shilonen's skills. Yep. So she buffs oh, and heals? I forgot to mention something important. What is it? Okay, guys, <laughs> what the hell? Names. Shilonen inherited the art of ancient name forging. The Pyro Archon even Wait, appointed strong her as to forge an strong ancient as hell. name for the Traveler. Ancient names Where she's a the must pull, Loki, you know? Heroes, right? It's amazing she can forge something like that. Exactly. Natland cherishes that is its crazy. ancient names. Few have the honor of being recognized by past heroes, and even fewer individuals have She's the ability so to forge ancient names. Be sure to check out Tribal Chronicles Nanatskayan in version 5.1 to learn more about Shilonen and ancient name forging. And just like in version 5.0, travelers can earn extra primo gems and level up materials Play. by completing oh, Shilonen's tribal chronicle uh, during version 5.1. Speaking of forging an ancient name for the traveler, at the end of the last Archon quest, 
the Pyro Archon made it sound pretty difficult. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. The Traveler is an She's outlander. She's really gorgeous. So their adventures in Netland aren't recorded in the I think I had to pull both guys, her and the Pyro recorded, Archon. Then it's going to be pretty tricky to forge an ancient name for the Traveler. Yeah. No wonder the Pyro I'm hyped Archon for this, said though. nobody's ever done it before. During the version 5.1 Archon quest, we'll have to figure out how to overcome that obstacle. We'll also get the chance to meet Sitlali from the oh, Masters of the Nightwing. she looks cute in game. Her tribe is said to be extremely knowledgeable about the Wait, wild. She looks really cute so in game. So she might be able to turn the tides in our favor. <laughs> what course, is that face? The Traveler's ancient name won't be the only obstacle. <laughs> what is the that face? The threat of the abyss remains. And it seems like Auroran, a mysterious member of the Masters <laughs> of the Nightwind, is working on a secret plan. Ooh. Oh, this is the first time There's seeing so him in game, to look right? To. Travelers I don't know can how also I feel about his design, guys. I'm on the fence Archon about quest, it. Right? <laughs> You're exactly right. Just like in oh, version 5.0, cool, travelers can earn an extra 500 primo gems if they complete the Natlan Archon quest He's Act Electro. 3 and Act 4 during version 5.1. But that's not all. Extra rewards will also be available for exploring Natlan during version 5.1. Travelers can earn a total of 400 extra primo gems by completing oh, related world quests and increasing Natlan exploration progress. They said, "Bitch, Travelers do your world quest, do your exploration." <laughs> progress in version 5.0 can directly claim the rewards during the new version. But don't worry if you're more laid back about exploring new regions. These exploration rewards will be available for two versions. That two means versions, you will have okay. All of version 5.1 okay, okay. and 5.2 to I didn't read the, the dev discussions, guys. We never rewards. read it after all. Can we expect similar rewards to become available as the map expands in future updates? You bet. Limited time exploration I'm about to explore after this, will be offered Loki. for all future Netland areas. Yes. Each Beautiful. time a new region is released, the it. exploration rewards will be available for two versions. That way, travelers should have enough time to explore the new maps and claim those extra primo gems. Each version comes does with look a better ton than the lower of activities. Image, I agree. You might even come across some opportunities for exploration during certain commissions or events. So you'll definitely have a ton of chances to work towards those rewards. We should give the travelers an example. Guys, I've been, no I have 100% in in everywhere except for Natlin. I'm grinding. Take part in an event called Aphid Treasure Trace. They'll work together with Shilonen to track down and capture phlogiston aphids. It's not as simple as I make it sound, though. These creatures have been corroded by the abyss, which caused them to grow unnaturally large. Wow, oh? is nothing safe from abyssal corrosion? Natlin's really going through a tough time. Tell me about it. Luckily, the corrosion levels I want to see some reversible. serious shit Start go down, by guys. Start attacks with your characters, then use Shilonin's insect net event, to right? break their shields. Once the surrounding shields are you down, travelers I will can too. purify the abyssal energy inside of them. Elsewhere in that land, travelers who venture into a specific <laughs> underground cavern <laughs> will discover joking. a secret source automaton it is that only was for left Natlin, behind yeah. by a lost civilization. The secret source constructor awaits all I'm challengers. I'm guessing this is going to be Shilonin's boss If you manage to beat also? this new boss, then you can earn special materials. I bet Shilonin would love to get her hands on the parts of that automaton. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we Dude, introduced the way our she new skates character around and the so new boss. Cool. Mm -hmm. Let's move on to the event wishes. Hey, In Libra. the first half of version 5.1, travelers can look forward to event Shilonin wishes for Shilonin and Chiori. A new five-star sword, Ooh, look at her sword. Song, will be featured on the weapon banner. Wait, her and in the second sick. half of version 5.1, we'll have returning event wishes for Nahida and Hu Tao. Nahida yes. and Hu Tao. And new four-star weapons will also That's be added to the me. weapon banner during version 5.1. Whoa, 5 .1. the one on the okay. left looks Keep an so eye dope. Out if you're interested in what them. the heck? Oh, I can't wait. I like the but I like the sword. It's about time for our first break. See you soon, Rizley travelers. Risley busy See tea testing. <laughs> No, Risley found dead in a ditch, bro. Forget Cryo. They actually hate Cryo nowadays. I don't understand. <sighs> the purple one is so pretty. Okay, wait. Can we... Let me... Hold on. Let me add these. Goodbye, my primos. No, I, I think the only one I'm going to pull for is Shilonin. But I, I might get her weapon. It looks cool. And I'm assuming it's going to be cracked. Not going to lie. Cryo found dead in a ditch, though actually um yeah i'm not gonna lie guys it, it definitely sucks not having the normal vas but i understand why we don't you know it is it is what it is <laughs> okay
Okay, so Shilonen, Chiori, Huta, and Ahida. Yeah, the only one I'm pulling for is Shilonen. And maybe her weapon. Wait, this art looks so sick. She looks so good here with the rollerblades. Welcome I'm back, travelers. It. I'm sure that everyone can figure out where we're at. <laughs> yep, it's Sumeru City. Things are looking really festive. That's because we're celebrating Nahida's birthday in version 5.1. I oh. still remember how the Sub-Zero's festival kept repeating during the Archon Quest two years ago. Oh, it's her Nahida birthday. Nahida couldn't celebrate her birthday uh, wait, because the Grand PTSD. Sage trapped her in the sanctuary of Sorostana. It is right. going faster and for sure. Nahida's character teaser was so sad. Especially during that third instance of, When I woke up, I was riding in a flower carriage. And the I cried. The sudden change of music was so heart-wrenching. Definitely. The Traveler really helped out by exposing the Academia, and Nahida was able to earn her people's love, but we all feel like she deserves a true birthday celebration, right? Yeah, absolutely. So, in the version 5.1 event, Chromatic Ode of Candies oh, and we Roses, free Travelers will get the chance to give Nahida the birthday celebration that she deserves. Wait, is this gonna <laughs> all make right, me cry? Finally. Yeah, actually, I actually... have a few screenshots that I can share with everyone. Do you want to take a sneak peek at this sub -Zero's festival? Yeah, yeah let's do let's... it. Whoa, that's a lot of people. It looks like they're <laughs> secretly discussing something. This year, the <laughs> Academia is organizing the a birthday and celebration unlike any other. Think of it as a small way to make up for their past mistakes. <laughs> Plus, the Traveler has teamed up with a bunch of friends from Sumeru to prepare a special surprise for Nihita. Oh, I can't wait to see her reaction. Of course, a surprise is only as good as your ability oh, to keep it a secret. So don't cute. give it away, Travelers. The flower carriage is another important part of Sub-Zero's festival. Don't give her PTSD! This year, our Sumeru friends have created a miniature carriage to simulate the parade. That way, it can go off without a hitch. That's so oh nice God, of them. And the traveler will serve as the knight it of flowers really during pretty, the real actually. parade, escorting the carriage along the road. How much you want to bet we get wow, that in the so teapot? The traveler is like Nahida's protector. Yeah, it looks like the Aranara are also involved in the festival. Long if you want no to see. learn more about this year's Subzerus festival, including the birthday surprise, then be sure to check out the event during version 5.1. It's time to make some memories sweeter than candied Ajilenak nuts. Travelers can also look forward to different types of we'll gameplay during the sure. event. Remember the parade simulator that we saw in the earlier screenshot? Travelers can take it for a spin during the event, Rocking Carriage. The goal is to control <laughs> the direction of the carriage to avoid obstacles while gathering as many flowers as possible. Collect blessings along the way and you'll be able to obtain a higher score. Nice. Nah, you know what they should have the done? They should have made it like Mario Kart. In of reality and dreams, Travelers like more will like enter Mario unique Kart. dreamscapes, search for anomalies within the dreams, and fix them. Okay. Oh, so it's like a spot the difference game. That's one of my specialties. <laughs> In the third event, Shadow of the Night's Blade, the Knight of Flowers must eradicate evil on behalf of the Dendro Archon. Earn points by defeating okay, so as many the enemies events, as possible then. within the time limit. You can even increase your performance level and earn buffs by satisfying special conditions during the challenge. Uh, this should be a breeze for the Night of Flowers. Bring it on. Ha, ha. Oh, oh, wow. Looks like someone's excited for the sub Festival. I hope travelers feel the same way. Hey, I'm sure they will. In addition to Nahida's birthday celebration, version 5.1 offers other exciting events. Feast In Feast of Pursuit. of Pursuit, travelers will be able to earn rewards Combat by thing? completing various challenges. They can even choose their own difficulty setting. Oh, cool. Each challenge Max. comes with unique buffs. Use them wisely to clear the challenge as quickly as possible. You'll find tougher enemies at higher difficulty levels. This is pretty standard. In standard Reminiscent stuff. Regimen Thrill, travelers will team up with each Dreamscape, other in co-op to tackle I mean, a challenge with four I mean... random stages. Each challenge will feature different reminiscent reinforcements. Selecting a character that fits the reinforcements featured in each stage will make it easier to complete. Each player can choose thing? a strengthening it buff before like entering a, a stage. You can give your team an advantage by oh, yeah, choosing a buff that works with the specific stage design. It's all about optimizing your teamwork. <laughs> Absolutely. After completing the challenge, travelers will earn thrilling stars based on their performance. Be sure to gather thrilling stars if it's you want to claim the corresponding too. rewards. New Invisage Deco's challenges will also be added in version 5.1. 
Travelers oh. will now be able to obtain <gasps> apples for Zhongli and Keqing. Whoa, Zhongli's echo is Oh, wait, is I'm so really down, cool. actually. Keqing's echo is also beautiful. She leaves a trail of flowers is really behind pretty. her. <laughs> Whoa, save some excitement I for really our like other Keqing's. updates. During but Zhongli, I actually use. A few familiar faces will also be added to I'm glad they're giving them to like PCG. other characters. Travelers can look forward to new character cards, monster cards, Are they cards, going in order? Monsta, cool. Lia, are they going to do Inazuma next? Version 5.1 is absolutely packed with events. Actually, There's even I think that was trolled. They gave one to Kirara Tracy already. That we introduced at the beginning of the program. That's not all. There's an old friend we haven't seen in a while. Jury card Wait, is cute. Wait, do you mean... That's right. Lieben will Lieben! be back in version 5.1. Wait, he's coming mad early, no? Just like always, travelers can exchange their items for primo gems and level up materials. Doesn't he usually come I pretty late? I heard that Natlin specific materials will be available during his latest visit. Dude, I'll fucking awesome. take that. That should be all for the version 5.1 event. Is he gonna say stuff about that Snezhnaya about this early? That for our second break. You got it. Hi, we'll Key, I'm down. Right back, travelers. Second break. Isn't this the third? Wait a minute. All right, here, wait. Third code incoming. One sec, guys. Wait, we're getting... If they actually... If Lieben actually talks about Snezhnaya, we're getting Snezhnaya comes, like, super early. Do, 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 do. There you go. I think I got it right. The Nahida trailer song is low-key fucking me up right now. Oh, they were saying it was the end of the whole live stream just then. Well, what else do they have to go over? I guess system optimizations. It sounds like they're not really gonna go that much more into the Archon quest because they like mentioned a few things and then that's it. It's really quick. They're like, they're like, they're going through it real fast. I'm assuming because there's not actual VAs, but I feel like I'm gonna cry during this event too. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> probably will as well <laughs> welcome back travelers it's time to jump into the system optimizations first up a skip feature will be added to the spiral abyss this Ooh! change allows you to skip floor 9 in the new update if you obtain just full floor stars 9? on floor 11 of the previous spiral abyss obtaining oh. full stars on floor 12 will allow you to skip both floor 9 and floor 10 Hopefully, oh. this change will create a smoother so experience. So, 9 and 10 are cut, so basically, convenient. for all yeah, of us, know, right? that 36 Just star. Just as a reminder, the I'll primo gem rewards from it. the skipped floors will need to be claimed manually. But floor well, rewards, such as Don't domain worry. reliquaries, will be distributed automatically when you open the Spiral Abyss interface. In addition, I... you can now open multiple domain reliquaries at once. Nice. Oh! We don't have to keep opening them one by one. Yeah. Wait, why do they have so many? Optimizations, That's actually really the nice. The filtering and sorting Small, logic nice. of the character artifact interface has been improved. The How? system will now remember your artifact set filters so that you don't have to set them every single time. Well, that's you can nice. also sort by affix for an individual artifact slot. Those okay. preferences will also be saved. That will make it a lot easier to filter artifacts for each character. Totally. The character ascension mechanics will also be optimized in version 5.1. You can now see the craftable amount of certain materials directly in your inventory. Oh, that's nice! A feature will also be added to the crafting bench that allows you to filter recipes by character ascension goals. This? This will allow you to easily view and craft the number of this materials really that you This is really nice. <laughs> Now, me. you don't have to calculate the required materials. All of you guys that saw me trying to craft shit for my Kinich the other day, Version I needed will this. Also be adding other small optimizations. Be I haven't sure done a bit yet, no. Future announcements for more information. All right, travelers. Some of you might have already noticed, but hey, Genshin Bacon. Impact turns four years old tomorrow. That's crazy. This is so cute. Look so at the far, art. Right? Let's see where this path has taken us. It's time to relive some amazing memories. Let's oh, stop. Do it. Are we getting sentimental? I think we are. Ooh, a little animated a short moment? Damn, my traveler doesn't do that. Damn, guys, it's been four years! Look at them! I'll cry. 
This had me messed up, by the way. Sometimes it's rainy. Dang. Sometimes it's cloudy. That's what journey means. Can't see the scene ahead's blurry. It's giving A and B. The song is nice though. I hear about your last trace. Love is shining bright in the deep night. Stand up to find many times and know what's wrong with The scars will finally do Okay, wait, that was kind of dope. With the song? animation is really cool. Travel through infinite dust snows. Break the strong tide to side. I hear about your last train. I like the animation a lot. Some words are heavy when some words are light. We are like two meteors that miss each other. That hit me a little bit. <laughs> Who else has chills right now, guys? I won't, I won't get emotional. I won't cry. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Yo. Uh, what the hell was that? What the hell was that? Here's what the hell was that? Of Genshin Impact. Hey, what the hell was that? Birthday. <laughs> wow, it's already been four years. Where's what the, the hell was that? It really brings back so many memories when I see all those scenes. There's that fight against Storm Terror. Can the we look at that of again? The Gate Chamber, Nahida saying goodbye to Greater Lord Ruka Devada, the masquerade of the guilty. I know, and I'm definitely <laughs> gonna have that song on repeat. That's song is exactly really good. what I did with the Natland Symphony performance. It seems like this is a good place to announce that Natland's first OST album. Land of Tlea Yaddle is about to be released. Yes! The album contains three discs featuring 78 original tracks composed for Genshin Impact. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Natlin's music has been so, Natlin's so good. Natlin's original soundtrack to our playlist. Yes. All w. right. Hmm. That was so quick. That looks like all the information we have to share. That means it's time for the special program to come to an end. Is there anything you want to say before we leave? Yeah, for sure. Well, I think there's so much cool content coming in this version. And hey, come on, fourth anniversary. That's Dang. so huge. It was yeah. so fast. I mean, we've yeah. put so much work into this game over the years, and every version has been special. But I got to say, 5.0, 5.1, these have been great. Exactly. I mean, seriously, Genshin Impact is, <laughs> is not only a game to me. It's my work. Mm. It's my life. Right. I True. play Genshin Impact every day. 
I talk about Genshin Impact every day, and I interact with players online. It's all these years. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot. Aww. It's a lot. Totally. totally. So if I have to say something this time, we are truly, truly grateful that you guys, our players, are continue playing this game. And yeah. we are just as excited as you guys for what's coming next in the game. Awesome. Yeah. No, totally agree. That's so great. Well, <laughs> unfortunately, it's time for us to say goodbye. Once again, thank you, you so it. much for yeah, all of the support great. over these anyway. past four years. <laughs> yeah. Hope to see you in game. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Goodbye. She looks so cool here, dude. She looks so good. She looks so, so good. I fear she ate. That's mother. Um, Yeah, guys. Live stream was good. I will say, though, it, it, it's tough because on the one hand, having uh, not like not non VAs voice it definitely does make it a little bit less exciting to a degree but it's totally understandable why we did not have the english vas so you know it, it is what it is i think i think i probably would have preferred if they gave us like the chinese or the japanese or even the korean voiceovers with subtitles but i still get why it was the way it was you know but um Content wise, 5.1. I'm excited for the Archon Quest. Although I think I need to watch the trailer again because what the fuck is going on? Like actually what the fuck is going on? So much was shown and I like could not process it all fast enough at all. Um, I can't believe it's been four years of this game also as an aside. So tomorrow is the four year anniversary, right? That's what they said. Um, the four year video was good, but honestly, I, I kind of feel the same guys. Like I'm ex always excited for art conquest stuff. I'm always excited for lore, but other than that, there's not that much else going on in this patch, I guess, right? Because we have the Nahida event, which I'm sure will be great. Um, and I'm sure it'll be cute and stuff, but there's no new area. Um, there's not much other stuff. Like there are events, but we always get events. It's like most of the same stuff. Um, but I mean, you know, it is what it is. I guess I'm trying to think of past 5.1s. I think the Archon Quest is going to be interesting. That, that's, listen, that's usually what I'm most excited for is the Archon Quest. So that's, that's what I'm here for at the end of the day. And the rest of the patch, I'm going to focus on my exploration since, uh, we're getting extra primos for that, you know? Yo, Shilonen is going to be so strong. As an aside, like, can we just talk about it? She is going to be so, so strong. No Saurians yet, because I guess we're not going to any new tribes yet. I'm guessing in 5.2, but we're not doing our conquest in 5.2. I wonder if they're going to give us new area in 5.2 or not. Because, so now with Shilonen's release and her story quest release, we'll have, like, we'll be able to do all of the stuff for her tribe. So after 5.1, we'll be able to max all three of the tribes that we already have, like, as far as reputation goes. So I wonder then if in 5.2, they're going to release another tribe but i feel like they would do that in an archon quest and apparently they're not having an archon quest in 5.2 right so i don't know what's gonna happen there like if they're actually gonna give us another saurian tribe or not i would be a little bit surprised at this point if they would do that without an archon quest but who knows maybe not maybe they actually would i have actually no idea I guess they don't need to show it in an Archon quest, especially like if they give us a new area and I don't know, man, I guess we'll see, whatever. We'll see, we'll see. Oh yeah, I'm excited for the Capitano stuff. I'm excited for all the lore stuff more than anything, but that's usually the case.